for a boxing all right y'all i know y'all see the thumbnail let me go ahead and preface this and say in no way shape form or fashion am i saying or will i ever say that bruising or blood or how somebody's face look after a fight is a direct indication that they lost or won a fight i'm just putting this up for illustration because you know madrimoff and his team made the statement that he wasn't uh he wasn't getting hit a whole lot in that fight. Well, if only one or two shots did that to him, but clearly they were some effective shots. But, you know, aside from all that, I just want to talk about the fight. Going into the fight, you had a lot of people who are casual boxing fans who don't know they're casual boxing fans. Or either they're very biased about certain uh, aspects of the fight game. Um, wasn't giving Crawford next to any credit for going up to 154 to fight a, a dangerous champion, a young fighter, young, hungry, strong, athletic fighter like Madrimov with a deep amateur pedigree who was not just an amateur with a lot of fights, who accomplished a lot as an amateur. Um, also, a lot of people talk cherry pick. They neglect to mention that Crawford's target was Charlo. Charlo flamed out. The next target was Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu lost to Fundora, then Fundora was the target. Fundora said no, then enter Madrimal, who raised his hand and said, I'll be your huckleberry. Um, as for the fight itself, it was a closely contested fight um, in terms of it was competitive. But to me, in terms of rounds one, I had Bud winning 8-4. Someone could make the argument for 9-3. He could also make the argument 7-5. Um, but it's all of this talk of a draw or Madrimov should have won. Listen, a draw would have been an egregious criminal misconduct against Bud Crawford. Um, in no way, shape, form, or fashion, um, looking at how that fight played out, can anyone who is being unbiased, being objective and looking at the fight for what it was, looking at it round by round in totality and scoring that fight, score more round, score it even or score more rounds for Madrimov than they score for Crawford, in my opinion. Now, I get it. Not everyone sees the fight the same way. That's why we have split decisions. That's why we have majority decisions um, in fights. But the reality is that the way I saw the fight, so this makes it my reality. <laughs> But the way I saw the fight, I saw Terrence Crawford outworking Madrimoff. The statistics support what I saw in terms of if you want to go off punch stats, what a lot of people want to go off of them when they support what they're trying to say. So even in this aspect, if you're saying Crawford won by robbery, let's go to the punch stats. Um, and the punch stats support Crawford being the more active fighter in almost every round. I think it was every round. I think Crawford out threw him in every round. Um, outlanded him in most of the rounds. Crawford, when you want to talk about the telling shots, Crawford rocked Madrimov many more times than Crawford seemed to be bothered by Madrimov's shots. There were times in there Madrimov was holding on like a, like a baby hugging his mama, you know, after getting picked up from the first day of date here. So, um, you know, I just, I just don't see it um, any other way than a win for Terrence Crawford. I thought Terrence Crawford did his thing. I thought it was very commendable that he was willing to go up there and challenge such a, a dangerous fighter. I get it, guys see 10 fights and they want to just say, okay, this guy ain't done nothing in the sport or whatever. The guy was a champion. There's only two other champions in the division. No one would argue that the IBF champion is a more dangerous fight than Madrimoff. We see the um, WBO slash WBA champion tied up, didn't want to fight Crawford for whatever reason, not getting into all that. 
And then, of course, the lineal champion in Jamil Charlo. Nobody knows what he's doing. Is he, is he, uh, is he coming back? Does he have a trainer? Is he training at home like he was when Ronnie Shields put him in the win? Um, is he back with um, Derrick James? Is he, is he working exclusively with Joe, Joan Guzman at this point? Who knows? So um, I'm not going to put a lot of stock in Charlo. A lot of people I respect in these boxing talk, um, boxing um, talking spaces. Um, keep bringing up Charlo. I don't want to hear about it. You know what I'm saying? I respect anybody who wants to talk about that or whatever. But me personally, I'm not going to engage a whole lot in conversations about Jamel Charlo until he shows me he's a fighter. Because the last time I saw Jamel Charlo look like a fighter, it was in the Brian Castano rematch. So aside from that, all, all I got is a guy who was out a very long time and a guy who packed it in in the biggest fight of his career. So um, biggest opportunity of his career. So, you know, that's where I leave that. But as far as Bud Crawford, I feel like he did his thing. Um, feel like, um, you know, he, he looked good at the division, at the class. Um, looked like his power, while it wasn't as devastating as it had been at 47, or it didn't have a devastating effects on Madrimov that it had at 47 with the smaller gloves, looked like he his power was very respectable, and I felt like Madrimov felt it multiple times, and it affected the way he fought. Um, Madrimov was very tentative for good reason. He was the bigger man in there, but he fought like he was a smaller man. He was a champion in there, but he felt like he was the guy who was trying to survive, just trying to do enough to maybe not lose. And it backfired on him. Um, I got Terrence Crawford winning the fight, clearly. I'm, I'm interested to see what's next with Terrence Crawford. Much respect to Crawford for what he did. Much respect to Madrimov for giving a good account of himself. And I think Madrimov deserves to be put in a good opportunity after this. Does I, Do I think um, the fight warrants a rematch? Absolutely not. Um, Madrimov had his opportunity. He treated the fight like it was a dress rehearsal, talking about he held himself back, but in a rematch he would do much more. Man, that was your opportunity. You know, you don't get those opportunities ever so so often in the sport of boxing. And if you're talking about versus a fighter of the caliber of Terrence Crawford, um, you know that's your, that was your one shot, and you didn't you didn't you didn't go go for broke. You know what I'm saying? You were the one that was conservative in the fight. So what you get for that, you, you came in second place in the fight. So with that being the case, go do something else to prove that, you know, you are who I think you are and who a lot of boxing people say you are, especially who the zone talking heads say you are. And go out there and uh, get, a, get another respectable win and work your way back up and, and put yourself in title contention and, um, you know, try to, try to have some longevity in the sport doing great things. That's all I got on it, D-Lo 404 Boxing. Once again, congratulations to Terrence Crawford and his crew. That's all I got on it. Peace.